One of the major recommendations of the major national dialogue was the fact that Cameroonian government uh, had uh, objective to send a delegation to those sent out of the Republic of Cameroon to the Federal Republic of Nigeria forcefully by the arms conflicts in the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon. They call them refugees. They are now scattered across states uh, from the Cross River to the Taraba Oil in the neighboring Federal Republic of Nigeria. But you want to know what these people think? They say they do not want to see anybody coming to them, at least not sent by the government of uh, the Republic of uh, Cameroon. They will continue to be in Nigeria and monitoring events in Cameroon until when they think the atmosphere is favorable and good enough for them to come back. That is the long talk story. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being with us. We are on to the primetime newscast on Equinox at television live from Cameroon's economic capital city, Equinox Central News Desk. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for making the right choice to listen to news on the best of uh, media again. That is Equinox Television. We begin with uh, this accident in the far north region of uh, Cameroon that has taken uh, so many lives so far in the far north region of Cameroon. As you can uh, see there, the images are uh, from uh, one of uh, the conflict stricken region of Cameroon. And of course, it is an accident that has left uh, five persons uh, dead at uh, Bandan Bandankili on uh, Marwangoundere stretch of, of road in the uh, northern regions of Cameroon. The accident occurred uh, today. Uh, sources have confirmed. State media has also reported of uh, the incident. So far, five persons have died in that accident. And of course, the accident is said to have been caused by a wrongly parked vehicle along the said highway. That is the major road linking Marwa chief town of the far north region of Cameroon to Ngaoundere, which is the chief town of the Adamawa region of Cameroon. Five persons have died in the course of that accident. And of course, uh, road accidents have continued in uh, Cameroon and major highways. Most uh, accidents have been attributed to the poor states of roads in Cameroon. And another accident, two vehicles have uh, been left uh, completely or partially destroyed following a road accident in uh, Susa on the Douala and Konsamba Highway that is in the littoral region of uh, Cameroon. According to local sources, the accident followed a head-on collision between a lorry and a five-seater vehicle. No human life was lost in that accident in uh, Konsamba. The cause of the accident has so far been blamed on overspeeding on the part of uh, the uh, five-seater vehicle. As you can see in the images there, it should be recorded that the Dwalan Konsamba Highway is one of uh, the accident hotspots, one of the stretches in Cameroon where accidents are recurrent. And we're still on, uh, we stay on uh, the accident uh, page, human interest, to talk about another road accident, this time around in uh, Muliwe, Muliwe, along the uh, Mutengen Lime stretch of road in the Fakot division of the southwest region of uh, Cameroon, in the parts of uh, the southwest region, a lorry a transporting sand found itself overturned in a bush after escaping a motorcycle according to local sources the truck driver Hara came out of the vehicle uh, not wounded at least not wounded physically the bike rider is also uh, said to have uh, come out of the accident not wounded but the accident has been blamed on the uh, bike rider who is said to have been uh, disrespecting uh, major highway code while riding on the stretch of road linking Mutengene and uh, Limbi all in the Fako division of the southwest region of Cameroon. 
The governor of the southwest region of Cameroon, Bena Okalia Bilai, is uh, one amongst uh, the administrators in Cameroon who have so far publicly made known their intention to visit or send representatives to visit Cameroonians who have been forcefully moved out of their villages in the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon by the armed conflict hitting the regions. They are now living as refugees in the neighboring Federal Republic of Nigeria, scattered across the Cross River State, the Taraba, and other states of uh, Nigeria. Those of uh, Taraba State in Nigeria, however, uh, say they don't want to receive any official or any visit of a uh, state official in Cameroon. They regret that they've only heard calls of officials in Cameroon asking them to come back, whereas uh, the situation is still tense in the northwest and southwest regions. According to these refugees, they've been in Nigeria for several years and has not and have not received any form of assistance from the government of Cameroon and of course will only stay in Nigeria till when things are better in the northwest and southwest regions. Innocent as it tells us more in the following report. Refugees from Anglophone Cameroon in Cross River State, Nigeria, meet to address some burning issues like continuous call for them to return home by government authorities who say their security is guaranteed. You cannot say people who have been declared uh, wanted or driven away from their communities. Today may they just be carried away. This one is not possible and it will not work. With the year for news, how people were. We wish demilitarization of our localities. We will want me army come out. We defend them. We defend. They are people not allow us to go die again. Like people where they will not defend someone they don't first die. Persistent violence, killings, burning of houses, arbitrary arrest and detention, rape and other gross human rights abuses in the two English-speaking regions of Cameroon constitutes a giant obstacle. This never rain for Cameroon. Till today, it did not for their hand. That it is only the Nigerian government hosting them, which can order for their return to Cameroon. So before we go, now they will tell we say time don't reach, peace don't reach. Now then the tribe will give us more chop. They are the ones feeding and catering for us. Only them have the right to tell us to leave. We want lasting peace. But beyond the government should continue the negotiation process is started. At least that will convince us of future peace. When peace returns, we don't need to be told. We will know and decide on our own. By the time we think the day well, as we did here, we just did stone throw to some of our villages. We are here and monitoring the situation in our localities. We believe we shall return. But as at now, no one should force us return because there is no peace yet. In a positive way, one day, we believe say one day we will go back. So we don't want to make person come deceive with for here with any fake information. As we speak, many more new arrivals of people into Nigeria on daily basis to seek for refuge. Despite all misery and trauma we face here, at least we feel a bit safe as refugees. Despite government's uncountable statements, the military is there to protect lives and properties. The refugees in fear still do not abide to these statements. How will we go stay for our own village where armies don't occupy them? They're not even agree. They're not agree. Make person step an inch. Enter that village. How will money go back go stay with Sonia? Another annoying reason for their gathering is the alert to plan visits to be paid to them by a governor of the southwest region. For information everywhere on media, on the Cameroon consulate visit to the Cross River State Governor, Senator Governor Ben Ayade, to pave way for the visit of the governor of Southwest Region, Governor. Okala Bilai, to the refugees in Nigeria, leaves us with so much fury and anger. This is a man who is doing nothing to see that peace return to our homes or communities, paying no regards to the calls of the international communities to see that the killing, the arbitrary arrest, the burning of our homes and heavily influx of military into our communities is stopped. All 
of this leave us with so much anger and fury. As refugees, we seek peace at all times. Southwest Governor is yet to officially make a statement on the alert visit to refugees in the Cross River State, Nigeria. No Cameroonian authority, according to the refugees, has ever visited them publicly since outbreak of the crisis, except preaching for their return. Delegates at the major national dialogue last year resolved for a swift return of the refugees to Cameroon. As a result, over 80 individuals driven in buses claimed to be some of the refugees were presented to Cameroonians in Yaoundé. And speaking on behalf of his core refugees, the representative of the Cameroonian refugees in the Cross River State in the Federal Republic of Nigeria extended thanks to the Nigerian government for catering for them for over three years that they have been in Nigeria. They said they will continue to monitor events and regretted that the Nigerian officials also aided uh, the Cameroonian officials in arresting uh, some of uh, the separatist leaders who were taken sometime in 2018 and bundled to the nation's uh, political capital city, Yaoundé. Take a listen to their spokesperson in this extract. Select by no Safe. In this local government area in Cross River State, Nigeria, we always appreciate and remain grateful to the federal government of Nigeria, more especially to the state government of Cross River State, Taraba State, and other states keeping our people for your openness on the Southern Cameroonians for food, for shelter, and other humanitarian assistance as we fled away from the inhuman act brought on us, killing our families, both young and old, little children, not left out, raping our women, raising down our homes, and heavily militarizing our communities simply because as a people we ask to be treated as humans with respect to our human rights these reasons made us to become refugees all thanks to the fact that you the nigerian government open your doors for us the and according to the united nations refugee council there are over fifty thousand Cameroonian refugees living in Nigeria, 50,000 refugees, all of uh, the armed conflict in the northwest and southwest regions of uh, Cameroon, they are living in at least three states of the Federal Republic of uh, Nigeria. They run away from any security that has uh, grown and has metamorphosized into an armed conflict in the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon. But insecurity in Cameroon is not only of the two anglophone regions, it is also affecting other regions of Cameroon and are growing rapidly. A growing and disturbing level of insecurity in Cameroon. As of this day, a locally manufactured explosive is said to have uh, gone off in in a Mukulu, a neighborhood in Cameroon's political capital city, Yaoundé, a third of such incident in weeks, but no human damage was recorded. Several arrests were made in the capital following the last explosion, explosions of this sort, uh, that is, uh, some less than a few weeks ago. It has been a series of uh, uh, locally manufactured explosives recorded in uh, Yaoundé. We are also having reports that a similar explosive uh, went off in Bameda, chief town of the northwest region of Cameroon, this day. And uh, back to the arms conflict in the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon, as and what has been making headline news with regard to uh, the arms conflict is the recent wave of uh, killings in the northwest and southwest regions, which uh, culminated with uh, the killing or the brutal uh, killing of a lady in Muyoka in the Faco of the southwest region of Cameroon. Cameroonians, human abroad, have been reacting. International, non-governmental organizations, and 
development partners to the Republic of Cameroon have been reacting. And one of such is the United States of America. The U.S. Embassy in Yaoundé, on its part, has condemned the recent, or what it calls, the recent barbaric acts carried out uh, by separatists in the northwest and southwest regions of uh, uh, Cameroon and calls for an immediate end of violence from both parties, uh, though that is referring to the belligerent parties in the arms conflict in the northwest and southwest regions of uh, Cameroon. The U.S. Embassy has also termed this act disturbing and complete, uh, that is, and complete disregard for the human dignity. The embassy equally extended a message of condolence to the families of the victims of the most recent heinous crimes committed in the Anglophone regions of uh, Cameroon. And I will talk something else, but still in line with insecurity, to say that four members of an armed group accused of uh, terrorizing civilians and inhabitants of uh, Cameroon's major economic capital city, Douala, have been apprehended by elements of uh, the forces of law and order. It was thanks to an investigative, uh, that is an investigation launched by elements of the national gendarmerie that permitted the uh, tracking down of this men of the underworld innocent as a tells us more in the following report jugudum doyai 20 years old adamu buba alias adamu bashiru 29 years old Mohamed Belo Saduna, 37 years old, and Hamadou Adama, alias Dangari, 38 years old, are members of a gang apprehended by gendarme elements in Douala. They are accused of terrorizing populations of several towns in Cameroon. They heavily armed themselves when embarking on each operation. This talk of arms and ammunition were discovered when they were arrested in Douala recently. After an operation in Marwa Far North region in the month of June 2020, these members of the armed gang moved to the Adamawa. In the night of August 2nd, they burgled into the residence of a businessman called Joye Materu Pascal and met away with millions of francs CFA after ransacking his home and got him killed. Presence of these alert armed bandits in Douala were signaled by security officials in the Adamawa region. Exchange of information saw Bureau of the Littoral Gendarmerie Legion in charge of fights against criminality capture the hoodlums August 10 in Yambong Japoma neighborhood precisely at the place called Andre Chinois. They were in possession of a bag containing this gun with four magazine loaders, 618 5.55x45 mm bullets, a black bulletproof vest, an automatic pistol with a loader and 41 9mm bullets. Stock of charms were also discovered on them. Investigations continued to track down other gang members on the run. And the gendarmerie on success stories in uh, Cameroon, and we stay to talk about uh, news related to the activities of uh, the National Gendarmerie or to the Gendarmerie Corps in Cameroon to say that uh, the body of Ahmed Joseph has been removed uh, from the mortuary in Yaoundé, Cameroon this day. The elements of the National Gendarmerie was beaten to death at the Phoenix Interurban Travel Agency in Cameroon's economic capital city Douala last month. The 32-year-old gendarme officer will be buried tomorrow in his village in the east region of uh, Cameroon. And I will stay in the east region of Cameroon to talk about a consignment of uh, fake drugs that has so far been intercepted by elements of the National Gendarmerie in Osenaze once again. These incinerated drugs are illicit tablets of different sorts, confiscated from roadside vendors. The consignment in flames has been estimated to cost about 80 million francs CFA. The message we send to the population is to go buy drugs only at authorized pharmacies and health centers. The seizure has been made thanks to the joint action of security forces, custom and administrative authorities. 
the medicaments uh, de la rue sont... We continue to sensitize the population on the dangers of roadside drugs. The population must be very careful of the type of drugs they consume. The regional committee in charge of the fight against illicit drugs has promised not to end here. More seizure will be made so as to prevent the population go to their early graves by consuming these illicit and expired drugs. No matter what, we will eradicate these drugs. We assure the population quality drugs will be made available at the level of the Regional Fund for Health Promotion and which will be made available by the Regional Fund for Health Promotion in all authorized public and private health facilities in the region. This repeated incineration of roadside drugs is to recall to the population of the East region that healthy drugs are only found in legalized hospitals and pharmacies. Cameroon is uh, preparing for regional elections and uh, traditional rulers of the Fano region of Cameroon have been schooled on what they will need in order to present themselves for these elections. It was an initiative of a honorable member of parliament of that uh, part of the Republic of Cameroon, Honorable Orada, a senator, a member of the upper house of uh, parliament coming from the final region of Cameroon, Senator Alium Al-Haji. Smart uh, Rada Immaculate Fogwe tells us more in the following report. Majority of traditional rulers in Cameroon who have made their political ideologies public have paid allegiance to the ruling CPDM party. The ideology for traditional rulers to participate in politics is not shared by all of them. According to some traditional rulers, engaging in politics is rather a liability as it does not promote a suitable atmosphere for social cohesion in their area of command. During a meeting that grouped traditional rulers in the far north region of Cameroon, the issue was raised by one of them. Disant que les chefferies traditionnelles au Cameroun doivent pas être aujourd'hui autonomes. Traditional rulers have to be autonomous. How do you expect a traditional ruler to work under someone and not be manipulated by the person? There are a lot of traditional rulers who are senators, parliamentarians, to name but these. But my question is, would they be able to manage both positions? According to Senator Alim Alhaji, his decision to group these traditional rulers was to enlighten them on their social responsibility in grassroots development ahead of the eventual regional elections. As uh, you know, many things have changed and uh, we have uh, today in our country, which is uh, uh, the, the, the regional election, the upcoming regional election, and the rulers, the traditional rulers, have an important place uh, in this uh, matter because they have uh, 20 councillors of, of uh, 90, and uh, we, today we explain for them how to prepare this important issue. So we begin today, explain to them. The different laws. Traditional rulers are the custodians of the culture and traditions of their people in African societies. Above this, they are naturally expected to maintain and uphold social cohesion. Ladies and gentlemen, that report brings us to the end of this edition of News on Equinox Television. We thank you for your very kind attention. We wish you a blessed day in the company of programs on Equinox. Have a nice weekend.